I'm Stetson Bennett from Bennett's Hometown Pharmacy in Folkestone, Georgia, where we love you and we need you. Here at Bennett's Pharmacy, we want to be your pharmacy. We offer a full line of prescription drugs, a full line of vitamins, and over-the-counter products. And we have tremendous service. We will take the time to counsel you on your medication. We'll even call your doctor to see if we can save you some money. At Bennett's Pharmacy, we support all student athletes in Charlton County. This spring, it's baseball, track, golf, and tennis. Get out and support these young men and women that will be the next leaders in our community. Bennett's Hometown Pharmacy. Remember, shop at home. It Folks makes a difference. Auto Supply, located at 4439 Second Street North in Folkestone, Georgia, is owned and operated by the Dasher family. They have everything you need bumper to bumper for domestic and foreign car parts. Big truck operators, they have you covered as well. Hoses, seals, wall and supplies, and so much more. They even have lawnmower parts, blades, and accessories. Stop by today and see the whole crew. Big Sammy, Little Sammy, Miss Pam, Miss Joe, Stephen, and Ashton. Folkestone Auto Supply is a proud sponsor of Charleston TNT Sportsnet. TNT Supply is located about a half mile past US-1 and the 301 split, north of Folkestone, right next to Taylor Timber Company. They have everything you need for your home improvement projects. With a wide selection of lumber, hardware, millwork, plumbing, and electrical supplies, Concrete and masonry, power and hand tools, nails and roofing supplies. They also have a large selection of mobile home hardware. TNT Building Supply is a proud sponsor of Charlton Sportsnet. I'd like to welcome you to the Winter Sports Award Program. Tonight we'll be recognizing our student athletes in boys and girls basketball, cheerleading, and wrestling. With that, we'll turn the program over to our head cheerleading coach, Ms. Shannon Murray, to present cheerleading recognition. Good evening. We've had a really fun yet challenging year. As all of most of you know, this is my first year as cheerleading coach. So I came with a lot of changes and a lot of things I didn't know and things I had to learn, which these girls taught me, whether the easy way or the hard way, and vice versa. Um, but we really had a good year, and I know that for my seniors in particular, it was a rough year, being I threw a lot of changes on them, but I, my goal then and my goal continues to be is to give them a squad that they can be proud of and that the community respects. As all of you know, cheerleading is a very long sport. We start in June and we continue all the way through until April, and then we, I mean, not April, excuse me, March, and then we start over for the next year. So it's a long season with very little break, and many of these girls play multiple sports, and they double it all very well. Now, I want all of my seniors, I'm going to call your name and I want you to stand up and come up here. I have something for my senior girls, half my squad of seniors this year, that I promised them all in here and just now getting it to them. So, um, I have Carly Hooker. <laughs> Typical us. Tiffany Steele. Carnesia Home. Houston. These two were always there, 
always ready to work with a good attitude. Okay, next I have my most spirited award. This goes to someone little but fierce, always loud, always ready to do whatever she needed to do for the Indians or the maidens. That would be Carnicia Holmes. The next award is most dependable. This goes to a young lady who I could say, take this, put it to music, bring it back to us, teach us. And that would be Christy Cruz. The next goes to is highest GPA. And this young lady worked hard, played multiple sports. However, she was not present tonight. She also had a tennis match. So that one goes to Callie Wainwright. The next award is Best Sportsmanship. This goes to a young lady who, even when I had to quote unquote bust at her or get on to her, she still remained with a good attitude. This sportsmanship was always kind to her teammates. That would be LaDasia Gold. And the next award is the Coaches Award. This young lady is an all-around good girl who I could always depend on, who always brought the spirit of her team up. Um, that would be Yasha Reed. And last but not least, a very special award goes to one of my seniors. She is the most spirited and the most dependable who always kept her teammates up full of energy. None of us could keep up with her. And always ran the show and did a great job at doing it. And anything I asked she did, that is Carly Hooker. Thank you girls for a great year and I wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors.
Finocchi Rural Electric Membership Corporation has been providing quality electric service at a competitive price to residential, commercial, and industrial customers in southeast Georgia and northeast Florida since 1939. For tips and advice on how to save electricity and stretch your energy dollars, call 1-800-262-5131 and speak to your marketing representative. We are a cooperative owned by those we serve.
started off MVP and our rebound award. And anybody that looked at our basketball games know kind of who our rebound girl was. And I called him the rebound girl, even though the coaches called him the rebound girl. Um, just because he has so many rebounds, and I believe we haven't uh, confirmed it yet, but I believe she broke the rebound records um, in one game. And I believe it was like 27. So we go back and check and confirm that, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's broken. Um, also, I'm going, to, I'm going to miss her too. She's a senior, um, very coachable. I mean, she's been good to us for four years. I was in my ninth grade year. Um, I really think, and hopefully, man, we can get her in college and play some basketball. Let's try out and see what happens. Um, but I'm going to miss this girl a bunch. Um, the day she goes.
girls softball seniors got theirs in the fall. They're also cheerleaders. They won't get one tonight, but they already got theirs. And some of these folks, uh, their first four may have been basketball, so we will recommend nine them tonight. I have four senior plaques to award tonight. We thank all of you seniors for all your uh, hard work and your contributions that you have uh, contributed to this school, and we wish you much luck and success in the future. Also, want to thank you, parents, that supported them all these years and just helped them to, to be here and be a part of what we do. First one is for uh, girls basketball, Adesha Owens. Another girls basketball award. That is Neela Hunt. Next award is for a cheerleader, Arnesia Holmes. And finally, um, Recognized earlier. No, I won't be kissing you either. Jared Whitaker. <laughs> Sorry, it was those eyes. I just couldn't resist. We have. Uh, Tribe Award we want to present, and uh, I think this first one we're giving out is the coach's first year with us, and she did a really good job, and she did learn a lot. I think sometimes these girls, if they didn't want to do something, or want to change the way we've done things in the past, they would just tell her, ah, we don't go that way, or we don't go to that, or this, and so sometimes we had to help her out, because we do, and they're all looking around, and they don't know who I'm talking about. Anyway, uh, coach did a really good job with our cheerleaders, and I think he moved for good things in the future from uh, Ms. Shannon Murray. We also have a plaque for uh, Ms. Anna Roberts. She was there just about every game that our cheerleaders were at. She helped a lot, and I guess you could call her sort of an assistant cheerleading coach, so I don't think she's here tonight, but we uh, do thank her for her help as well. Also, when we have coaches that have teams or individuals advance to sectional or, or regional, um, the sectional or the state competition or playoffs or what have you, we like to recognize those coaches. Wrestlers this year, we had several guys that qualified for the sectional, and then we had uh, a state qualifier as well. Uh, Coach Larry Carter, he coaches tennis as well, and he is on the road tonight. We have schedule change in there. Turner County, but he was our head wrestling coach and helping out for the first year with wrestling full time is uh, Coach Joe Spencer. <laughs> Once again, we'd like to thank all of you parents for helping giving these kids, not just our seniors, but all of them, and uh, we appreciate your support and all the other supporters of our athletic program and our school. This time that concludes our ceremony. Thank you.